Hi guys, in this video I'm going to walk you through a really simple football prediction model using recent form. So let's get started. So objectives. In this video you will learn how to price up a football match using recent form and this will help you make more well-informed football predictions and ultimately hopefully find some good value in various betting markets. So how are we going to compile the odds? We're going to use the recent form of the two teams involved. Um, so the key things that we need to look at are what time frame we're going to use. So we're going to use four games, last four games, um, home and away. Um, but obviously you could change that. And you also need to consider whether you're going to include cup games. Um, for us, we're just going to include league form only. So we're going to take the last four results for each of the two teams in the league. So in our example, we're going to use Inter Milan versus Napoli. So here you can see Inter Milan's last eight matches. And as I've mentioned, we're going to focus on the last four, which are the win against Genoa. You've got two draws and then this win here. So two wins, two draws. And then if we take a look at Napoli, we can focus on the last four. We've got two wins, one loss and a draw. So how do we compile our own odds? So to get Inter Milan's home price, we take their two home wins, or we take their two wins and we add them to Napoli's loss. So that gives us three. To get the draw price, we take Inter Milan's two draws and add them to Napoli's one draw, which gives us three. And to get Napoli's away price, we take Inter Milan's losses, which there weren't any, and add them to Napoli's two away wins. So that just leaves two. So you've got the four games from each team, eight games in total, and we've assigned three to Inter Milan, three to the draw, and two to Napoli. So then we need to just turn that into a percentage chance for each team winning and the draw. So to get the percentage chance, we divide each team's individual score by the eight matches. So for Inter Milan, we're dividing three by eight. And that gives us, well, as a percentage, 37.5%. The same for the draw. And then for Napoli, we get 25%. So the next step is to convert those percentages to odds and in order to do that you simply divide 100 by the percentage figure so in our case we have Inter Milan 100 divided by 37.5 gives us 2.67 the exact same odds for the draw and for Napoli a 100 divided by 25 gives us 4.0 so once we've got our odds, we just need to compare them with those offered by the bookmaker or an exchange. So as you can see here, this is the uh, this is the odds offered by Betfair, and they've priced it up so that you have Inter Milan are the favourites, 2.14, Napoli 3.6, and the draw 3.8. So based on the odds that we've compiled, we're saying that. There is no value on Inter Milan. There is also no value in Napoli, but there is value in backing the draw. So essentially, if we were to place a backing value bet, then we would back the draw in this uh, game. But there are obviously different angles that you could take. You could oppose the prices that you consider to be poor value. So you could oppose Inter Milan or you could oppose Napoli. Um, several things to note. If you price up a match and find that you are receiving excellent value and it seems too good to be true, then you need to check the prices and the team news. Is the manager resting players? Are any important players missing through injury? Have you made a mistake in your calculations? So all questions that you need to ask before placing any value bets. So in summary, yeah, this is just a very simple way to calculate odds. But it does give you a solid starting point for coming up with logical football predictions.
So the good thing is, obviously, you can compare your odds to those offered by the bookmakers, which helps you find value. But there's a lot more information that you could add into the model. And obviously, the more data that you include, the more accurate it's got the potential to be. So, yeah, hopefully that is a really quick overview of a very simple strategy that you can use to compile your own prices. Um, if you've got any questions, drop a comment below and also be sure to join the Odds Tribe members group 